All right, this is our test drive, thrash drive on our 71 Hemi Cuda. If you look out over the hood, you can see that big black bubble out there. And again, that is attached to the motor. Every time that motor fires, it shakes back and forth just a little bit. Just really, really cool. And once again, that thing is functional. It actually works, it does something. In fact, you'll find that same shaker bubble on modern Mustangs. Now, a Hemi is a Hemi, but driving it around, it's it's like driving a 71 Pinto until you stick your foot in it. Uh, I'm not going to tell you it's good gasoline mileage, but I will tell you that there's no real drama to this car until you put your foot to the floor. Now, just driving it right now, there are two carburetors, a total of what we call eight barrels. Each carburetor has four barrels. Now until you stick your foot in it or take it up past 75 miles an hour, it runs on two of the eight barrels. There's a progressive linkage built into this as to where once the uh, rear four barrel comes on, the front four barrel starts to come on. and. Boy, you better be hanging on at that point, because this thing runs hard, hard, hard. Now, again, this car is a 410 axle, 4.10, and that is a acceleration axle. It's not a gasoline mileage axle. It's not. It's it's like what comes in old trucks for towing, 410 and 456. So top speed, red line of 6,500 RPM on this vehicle in fourth gear isn't much more than about 92 miles an hour, 87 to 92 miles an hour. So it's all about the go, all about the go. This car produces so much torque. You can launch it in first, throw it over into third. It's like going from first to second. Fourth gear, you can bring it in as low as 15 miles an hour and just torque away. Subaru with a hood scoop, I'm impressed. Okay, everybody, now get ready. We're gonna do what's called the commonly a speed shift to the first three gears. And that just means where we just use the clutch but we don't take our foot off the throttle. So here's your Hemi Thrash. soulless and just became appliance like even the cheapest of cars now have some oh some fun to them something that makes them uh, feel good something that makes you want to be proud of your car this is a car that anybody that bought back in 90s 1971 was very very proud of. 